Okay guys, so today we are going to continue my liquid lipstick collection and declutter. We're going to do the largest um, shade selection that I have um, in my liquid lipstick collection, which are the kind of nude shades, which are um, this divider right here. But that's not it because <laughs> that is just an overflow. I also have this whole section up here. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of nude shades to go through. I didn't ever think I could really wear a nude lipstick. And, of course, there's some uh, shades of nude that I definitely cannot pull off. But I ended up really liking, I guess, nude lipsticks a lot. So so that's why I have so many in this um, Sunny Cosmetics uh acrylic organizer and we're just going to go through them. I'll do some swatches but I don't want this one to be like an hour long video so we'll just try and get through as much as possible. It's not a huge declutter as I've stated. It's just kind of going through my collection and seeing what I have and what's gone bad and whatnot. Um, and then I'll continue with the remaining shades after this in separate videos. So my name is Lizzie. Thank you guys so much again for joining me. It means the world to me that you take time out of your day and just watch my little channel and videos. And it would just mean so much if you are new and want to subscribe to my channel because I really hope to do a giveaway when I hit a thousand followers. And I just love being able to give back to all of my supporters and just show how much I appreciate you guys and love you for just, you know, supporting me. And let's just get started. Thanks. Okay, I'm just going to start pulling stuff out randomly and let's just go. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Trophy Wife. So um, I had stated in my previous liquid lipstick videos, I think there's two up right now, um, that this is my favorite liquid lipstick formula. Ooh, that's kind of like a pinky mauve shade. Um, am I doing the right container? Yeah. <laughs> so that should have probably gone in my first video um, of that, but it's a really pretty shade. And of course, I'm not going to declutter that. I love this formula, like I said. So I'm just going to put that in the section that it belongs in. Trophy wipe. Okay. Uh, this brand I was mentioning um, before, Le Medier de Beauté, I think they're going out of business or just discontinuing this brand. I don't know. I've been seeing it very on clearance pretty much at Neiman Marcus, so that's a shame, but it's good because they were super expensive, so now they're really cheap. <laughs> um, but I, of course, got this when it was full price. This is the shade First Look, and it's kind of a thinner formula, but it's so pretty, and that's a really nice kind of rose nude shade that I am definitely keeping. Oh, I love these Bite Beauty, um, what are these called? The Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip. So these were also on sale on Sephora, so I picked up a couple more shades when they were discounted. This is the shade Caramelized. I don't think I've even worn this yet, but has kind of like a glossy finish, um, so it's not completely matte or dried down, and it just feels so nice on your lips. And I love the scent of the By Beauty lip products. It just reminds me of like lemons and citrus, because they're made of like all natural ingredients, so they do tend to go bad faster, so you just have to be careful of that. So I really should pull this out more and wear it a lot more. It's not my typical nude shade. Um, I usually go for like the pinker, warmer shades, but that I think I could still pull off. And Pippa might come in and out of this video with the lighting, so sorry about that. Here is Makeup Forever um, in shade 109. Uh, it's called the Artist Liquid Matte. Um, I really like this formula too. This does dry down matte, and it's just very comfortable and nice on your lips. Um, so that is a really pretty warm kind of terracotta shade, so I'm definitely keeping that. Oh, and this came in the Too Faced Holiday Collection set um, this past Christmas, and it had a bunch of little minis for like $25, and it was just an amazing deal and set. This is the shade Sugar Cookie, and it has the cute little packaging, and it smells 
like sugar cookies and I just love this set it's so cute and that's really nice nude and I like the formula of the Too Faced Melted Matte liquid lipsticks too I think they're pretty comfortable this is a butter um, London lippy liquid lipstick in Canyon Rose Ooh, it's kind of separated or just kind of all settled down in the bottle there but I, I like this too um, it is a little sticky feeling but I think it's a pretty shade and a nice formula so I will be holding on to that one see I just love nude lipstick so I just really don't know if I'm gonna get rid of any here is Burberry um, number 17 liquid lip velvet in dark rosewood I remember when everybody was like so enthralled by this liquid lipstick and it just it didn't impress me that much I thought when I wore it it just wasn't that I don't know it just seemed to I felt like my lips looked dry once it dried down and it just looked kind of shriveled and it's not the best formula I don't know maybe I'll get rid of that one we'll see here is a little mini of Bare Minerals in Swag. This probably came in like a Sephora Play or something. That feels really nice. And the scent, I don't know, kind of reminds me of like chocolate chip cookies or something. So, it's just a little mini. So. I have so many liquid lipsticks, so maybe I'll get rid of this one too, just because I have so many. And I have other Bare Minerals ones too. Here is a NARS, is it the Velvet Lip Glide? Yeah, Velvet Lip Glide and Lore. So this was one of the, Ulta had two sets of these um, that they released, one last year and one the year before, I think. So uh, I just really like this formula a lot, and that's a nice kind of warm terracotta shade I kind of I really like that so I'm gonna keep that one here is another one from one of those sets in district I said I'm not gonna swatch all of these but look what I'm doing I'm swatching all of them this is kind of sheer pinky shade hmm hmm not really not that impressed by it. Maybe I'll get rid of that one. Um, I really like the Kat Von D formula, so I have a bunch of hers too. And this is Saint. So this is kind of like a pink. Yeah. Here's pink. I guess you'll call these like my pinky nudes. Don't really know. I'll keep that one. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dazed. I don't know where I got this one. And I haven't even used it. Did I get it in a, like a set somewhere or came free in something? Oh, that's a lot darker than I expected. That's not really a nude shade. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I'm calling this nudes. Maybe more of my nudes are up top. <laughs> Maybe this is just like where I didn't know where they should go. This is kind of very red. Um, like I said before, Anastasia Beverly Hills doesn't make my favorite formula for liquid lipsticks. I do think that hers are very drying. Um, but I just don't know where I got this shade from. But it's really pretty. But let me see. Maybe I might have a ton of other ones. Here's another NARS one in Swing. Swing. So the Velvet Lip Glides are more of a gloss, not really a matte formula. That looks very similar to that one. Just a little shade paler, maybe a shade cooler. So maybe I'll get rid of that one since I have the other one I want to keep. This is Smashbox. Always on liquid lipstick in Babe Alert. 
So I would mentioned before, this is a really good formula, but it does dry out really quick. And I can even see in the, like, right below the cap, it looks very thick and, like, dry. So definitely a drier formula. I mean, it is drier already on the formula side, but it does seem like it's pretty dry. It's too bad because like I really like this formula so I ended up buying like a bunch of shades and then find out that they dry out really fast and I don't even get to wear them that long. I'm going to clean these off. Okay, here is a Chanel Rouge Allure, I think that's what they're called, ink in Amaru. I love this formula. It's very, um, a little bit thinner which is super comfortable and beautiful and oh, it's gorgeous, like peachy, peachy nude shade. Definitely keeping that. Here's another Huda lipstick in Jet Setter. Ooh, so pretty. Another peachy shade. Um, I want to try her new bullet lipsticks that she came out with, but... I just have so many lipsticks I really shouldn't buy anymore right now. Um, here is the new L'Oreal. I forget what these are called, but I just got this one. It's I Create. So I haven't even worn it yet. But let's see. Ooh. That wand is really gross. It looks greenish. That's weird. Like I said, I just got it. <laughs> so it's kind of weird there but that's a nice shade it's it's pretty the wand is just so off-putting can you see that does it look green Ugh, i don't know do you guys have this and does your wand look green like a pukey green <laughs> not sure light so here's buxom full-on lip cram mini and dolly they're very popular shade and I really like this formula it's glossy this definitely looks like just a gloss so I should put that in my gloss collection um, glossy plumping kind of that minty menthol tingling on your lips but not like super stingy or anything like that because I can't stand that so that I'm keeping here's another NARS in vault it's pretty it's kind of a brownie nude -ish. I think I will hold on to that too uh, the Marc Jacobs in slow burn I love this formula. I kind of wish they would release more shades. They don't really have too many shades out. But this is like a rosy mauve color. So that should have gone in the other video, but I'm keeping that. Oh, and these Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood lips. This is pin up pink, so I'd mentioned how when they first released, I just like immediately bought like four or five of them, and I don't really, I'm not a fan of the formula. It's very moussey, see, and kind of drier. It looks like that shade a lot, like the Huda Beauty one. Yeah, it's just not a favorite, and they're very expensive. Sorry, I'm just making sure I can see this in the camera. Um, yeah, that pink, I don't know. I think I'll get rid of that. And here's another one in Rising Star. So whatever I don't keep, and if it's still just like has been swatched, I'll list on my Mercari, which you could find in my profile. And you can sign up too. I'm going to try and list a link so you could sign up um, if you haven't before. I actually. Sorry, I'm just looking in the camera here. <laughs> I actually got um, a couple friends to sign up on Mercari, and they've been selling just items that even like 
one of my friends didn't think that like she had anything that she would that would be worth selling and I was like you know you never know like so many people can just be browsing and you know looking for items and you just like have no idea that you know just happen to have what they they want and um this one I will keep I'll get rid of the pin of pink and keep one at least um like I was so surprised by items that I thought nobody would want because they, you know, are older and just have been sitting in my collection or have been, like, gently used, and they sold, like, I was very surprised. <laughs> so, yeah, you just have no idea. So I think it's a great way, um, you know, just to help declutter your collection or anything, really, spring cleaning, <laughs> your, your wardrobe, anything, and... Yeah, they don't seem to take as much commission as like Poshmark or eBay. They take 10%, I think, and then you could decide if you want to pay for shipping or have the buyer pay for shipping yourself. Um, so, yeah, that's something you should check out. And here is Milk Makeup Lip Vinyl. Uh, this was just something I wanted to try. What shade is this? Um, flossy. So I just wanted to try these, and I think I only, like, really wore it once. It does have an applicator. Yeah, that's kind of a darker nude. It's like more of a sticky formula. Definitely vinyl. There. There's another Too Faced Melted Matte in Freshly Baked. I don't even remember getting this really. Totally forgot about it. It's kind of a pale nude. Yeah, I think I will get rid of that one because I just don't think I would wear it too often. It seems a little pale pink for my taste. Oh, I love this formula by NARS, the NARS Power Matte Liquid Lips. And this is a mini set. I think that was a duo that I got off Ulta, maybe. This is Hot Blooded. Ooh. That's like a terracotta orange shade so that should actually go in my other section there but yeah definitely keeping that here is another Kat Von D in the shade Julia so this was the I think the farm sanctuary trio that she released so this was like there was a chicken a pig and a sheep or something so Got a few of those. I love that they go towards animals. Since I'm a huge animal lover. And what shade did I say this was? Julia? Yeah, I think that was the pig one. So that's a kind of bright coral shade. So like that. Another NARS one in Rapture. That's pretty. It's pink. I'll keep that. This is Smashbox Bad B. So, like, whenever brands were releasing, like, these lipsticks, I was just like, I just wanted to try every formula. And now I really have to stop from doing that because I accumulated so many and I definitely do not have enough time to wear all of them and go through all of them before they go bad so it's just I have to really be picky and just decide which brand which formula which shade I want to get if I get any new lipsticks <laughs> I think I've been doing really well except for like the limited edition kind of packaging lipsticks that I usually get from my untouchables collection anyway so I think I've been doing okay this is you know, okay, I don't know. I remember just like re kind of recently getting it and I don't think I've ever worn it. So I will hold on to it for now and see if I get rid of it later. Here's a Ciate Liquid Velvet. I like this formula a lot too. This is Wonderland. I think this came in the set, maybe with like their eyeshadow palette or something. Don't remember when. That's pretty. 
I like that formula a lot. So that I am keeping. Uh, here's a full size of the NARS Power Matte Liquid Lip in American Woman. Oh, the shade is a gorgeous, like, rosewood shade. I love this shade, and I love this formula. It's on the thinner side, um, but I think it's the applicator, which is nice and pointy and thin. It makes it pretty easy to make a clean lip look. So that shade is just beyond and beyond. This is Too Faced Melted Matte Mini in Sellout. I feel like I've had a few of these sample size ones of Sellout. Oh, but that's pretty. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one. Sellout. Kat Von D in Double Dare. So this is one of her popular shades too. It's nice. Another NARS in Summer Fire. This is supposed to be like a vinyl kind of gloss. A little bit thicker. Um, what does it say? Yeah, it doesn't say what formula this was. This was before the Power Matte and the Velvet Lip Glides, I believe. Mm, that shade, I'm just, eh, get rid of it. Here's a MAC Liquid Lipstick, Retro Matte, and Back in Vogue. It's kind of a peachy nude. Mm. Yeah, I don't really wear that kind of shade. Get rid of that. Here is a mini Kat Von D in Lovesick. So it's kind of a purpley mauve color. I thought I should have gone in my mauve collection, but yeah, that's pretty. And another power mat. Jeez, I didn't realize I had so many. This is Save the Queen. I think this is like a cooler tone, like kind of pinky, yeah, cool tone pink shade. Kind of reminds me of the Kat Von D one I just watched there. But like I said, I love this formula, keeping that. And last in this little section here is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick in Chihuahua. It's very popular and it has a little sponge tip. I really like these. These are very comfortable and just a nice formula that I like from Too Faced. So I'll keep that one. But I wish I don't really like the sponge applicators. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic Liquid Lipstick. I remember seeing this on Instagram and just like trying to find it in my Walgreens and I don't really know why because it's metallic and ew look at that but I mean it's pretty it's like a nice pretty pink rose gold shade okay I'm gonna keep it just because it's cheap anyway and I don't have too many metallics anymore in my collection so if I ever need a metallic lip there we go here's another Too Faced Melted um Liquefied lipstick in melted chocolate, uh, chocolate milkshake. This is a really pretty shade too. Squeeze them out. Ooh, it's watery. I don't know, I think it's supposed to be thicker and more pigmented. Maybe it just needs to be shaken up a little. Changed it at all? A little bit, a little bit more opaque now. But like I said, these are just very comfortable and easy to apply. Here is another NYX Powder Puff Lippy. I had said I got a couple of these. This is the shade 
Best Buds, but I haven't tried them yet. So I wonder if they're similar to the Too Faced one I just showed in that like sponge tip applicator. But yeah, it's it's new, but let's go ahead and, and try it out. Let's see. Ooh. It's thicker, but maybe I was just surprised because of that one. It's thicker and it's definitely a different shade than the than the tube. It's definitely pinkier and brighter, but it feels nice. I just kind of want to paint my whole hand with it. I like that. So yeah, I'll have to wear that, see how it wears on the lips, how long it lasts, if it dries down too much, but yeah, that's nice, but definitely pinkier than I expected it to look like. Here is Julep, and this is Pillow Talk. It's very cool toned pink. Mm, I don't feel like I would wear that shade really. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Here is a Guerlain. I don't even know. Intense Liquid Matte. Shade M06. Intense liquid matte. I think I wore it like once, but like I said, I don't remember. Well, it applies like a gloss. So we'll see if that dries down. I'll keep it. I think it's the only girl on one I have for here. Oh, here's another julep one in Ultimate Apricot. So this was an Ulta exclusive shade, I believe. So this is kind of like the Burberry formula. It's very kind of like moussey. That's pretty. I'll keep that one. There's another Bite Liquefied Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Chicory. It just looks so thick and luscious. Oh, I love that smell. Oops. But yeah, that's pretty. Keep that. Here's Jeffree Star and Manny Miwe in the shade Daddy. This, yeah, it's just, I wanted to keep it to keep the set together, but it's just brown, 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 and I just don't think I would ever wear that shade. So that I'm gonna let go. Another Jeffree Star in Androgyny, one of his popular shades. So it's kind of, like a lilac, lavender, purple, gray shade, like cool tone. I didn't think this would really work on my skin tone, but I, I like it. It's unique and different, so that I'm going to keep. And another Jeffree Star in Nathan. So it's the collection he came out with his boyfriend, Nathan, and this baby pink packaging. And I just... Yeah, that's just like a pale peach shade that I just don't think I could pull off. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Sorry, I can't really see with the sunlight in the camera, so I don't really know <laughs> what these look like on film. So this is um, the Lancome Matte Shakers in Sea, Sand, and Sun. I love this formula. I said before, it has the little sponge tip that you shake it, and then it apply it and it's just so comfortable and just gorgeous um that shade is a little bit not usually what i go for but i'll keep it for now i think it is starting to change color a little i can't tell yeah oh it does look like it is kind of like the mac vamplify lip gloss or one that i had in my previous video it had some like you know this reddish tinge kind of throughout it so Maybe I have to toss that one. Here is a Dose of Colors. This I think was the Desi Katie collab. I don't know, it has the different packaging. Um, New Chica. That looks very similar to that Lancome one. Uh, I just don't know why I got this. It's not really, see, I got this shade 
I think because I wanted the packaging or the collab and it's just not a shade I would wear. So bye bye. Here's another Chanel in Lost. Yeah, see, I don't think I could wear that one either. It's too, too peachy. It just doesn't look right with my skin tone. So I don't think I even wore that. I think I only swatched it. So get rid of that. There's a little baby in by Ofra in Sao Paulo. I've never tried Ofra liquid lipsticks, only their highlighters. So let's see. Nope. I don't care. <laughs> About the formula, it's that shade. Nope. The de Beauté in Mannequin. Yeah, I'll keep that one. It's not as peachy as the others that I'm getting rid of, so I like that. A Ciate London, or yeah, Ciate London in the Swoon. Very similar to that one. Yeah, I think I'll have to let this one go too. So some nude lipsticks I definitely don't think I can pull off <laughs> as I'm coming to find out. Here's a Lipstick Queen in blush. I think this is old. It's the Vesuvius Liquid Lipstick, okay. Oh, oh, it's a brush. There we go. There we go. Ooh, it has some like sparkles. Shimmer running through it. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, and I definitely smelled the menthol. Um, yeah, I don't even know the last time I wore this. So I'll throw that one out. Try to keep my pile straight. Another Too Faced Melted Lipstick, but this is Melted Metal, ooh. And Debutante, let's see. Let's see if I like this metallic shade. Oh, that is definitely metallic. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm, that lip gloss. It's pretty though. Mm, I'll keep this one, yeah. That is really pretty. It is a ColourPop Hello Kitty Ultra Satin Lip. And so the Hello Kitty bows in Tiny Chum. Definitely not a shade I would wear, but I'm keeping it because it's Hello Kitty. Another ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This must be pretty old. Monday. Because I have not bought any of their... Ew. Yep. Look at that. Blob. Bought any liquid lips from ColourPop in a very long time. So that one, I'm just gonna toss. Some more Huda. This one is Sugar Mama. Sorry, making sure I'm trying to get them all on the screen here. Sugar Mama. Oh, that is kind of one of those shades I just got rid of. I don't know, but I love the formula. And this is the shade Wifey. Ooh, yeah, I don't know about these. Uh, I think wifey is too nude. I don't know, let me see how they dry down. Sometimes they turn darker as they dry down. Here is Bombshell. Oh, this one I'm definitely keeping. I love, this was like one of the original shades that everybody coveted from Huda Beauty. So that one is... Very pretty. Keep that. There's so many more Huda Beauty ones. I see, I told you I love this liquid lipstick. And this one is Icon. I think I swatched this in my last video and I thought it belonged here, but I don't know. Well, it's kind of like a reddish pink nude. But yeah, that one I'm definitely keeping. This is Girlfriend. I don't know about that 
one either. And Venus. Oh, this one. I think this is like one of the first nude lipsticks I got that I was like, oh, I can't do a nude lipstick. But then I got this and I'm like, oh, it doesn't look, yeah, bad at all. So that one I'm keeping. Oh, this is my one and only Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte and Aphrodite. I've never tried this brand. Um, and I think I've only swatched it. Yeah, that one, definitely not my shade. Um, I must have gotten it from like a freebie bag from Ulta or somewhere. So now, there's a couple more Kat Von D's. This is Ophelia. to the other ones but I'm gonna keep this because I got it recently and I don't think I've worn it yet so I'm gonna try it I'll try that one this one is in the shade noble this was actually a friends that had it and she went back to Turkey so I got it because she left it here but yeah that's just not not for me, too pale. Sorry. Here's a little mini in Ludwig. Yeah, very darker nude. I like that shade though, I'll keep that. Another Smashbox in Stepping Out. Let's see if this one dried out or not. Oh, look at that. Yep, I guess we're throwing that out. Too dry. I'm not getting that formula again. Tarte, Tartiest Lip Paint in Rosé. I'll wear that. It's another buxom centerfold. Wildly whipped liquid lipstick. Yeah, I like that. The Jouet, oh, this is shimmery. Jouet Praline. Oh, yeah, I remember just thinking this was really pretty, but then I was like, oh, metallic lipstick? I don't know what I was thinking, but um, yeah, you know, I think I'll just get rid of this. I remember I did wear this, I think, once, and I got a lot of compliments on it. Almost done, almost done. Um, do these Maybellines. I have the one I just showed with the Puma collaboration. Um, this was the shade Seductress. Like I said, I like this formula for a drugstore brand. I think it's very comfortable and long lasting and affordable. And this is the shade Amazonian. brown nude shade there. Here is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Sonata. Mm, no. No thanks. Pat McGrath in Divine Nude Liquid Lipstick. Which shade is this? Maybe that's just the shade, Divine Nude. I don't know. I don't see it anywhere else. Okay. That's pretty. I like that. I like that one. Oh, another Stila one. And this looks shimmery. Um, and, yep, Nudo Shimmer. Let's see if I like this one any better. Yeah, 
that shimmery, kind of metallic. I'll try this one. I'll try it since I got rid of the Jouer one. Another NARS in Walk This Way. Oh, super pretty. Another NARS and Get Dirty. I don't remember this. Oh, that's pretty too. These Dior's. Liquid Lip Delicate Satin, number 427. That has some shimmer too, but that's really pretty. I remember when Dior released all of their liquid lips in different finishes, and I bought a couple, and I really do like the formula a lot. Uh, 424 in Hypnotic Matte, so that's like a shimmer liquid shade, and this is the matte shade. Oh yeah, love that. Uh, here's a mini of Get It On. So I think that came in the duo set that I showed earlier. Yeah, I like that. I like it a lot. And another NARS Lip Glide and Night Together. Mm. Ooh. It's like a movie pink shade. So I'm going to put that in that section, keeping that. Okay, last couple minis. Here's a Huda mini and Trendsetter. I got this in one of the lip tin sets. And since I didn't have this shade full size, I was like, okay, well, now I have it in mini. And I like it. A nice brown nude. Keep that. A Clay de Peau full size in shade 11. Liquid Radiant Liquid Rouge, so this is not matte. I believe this kind of reminds me of the YSL kind of glossy Rouge Venise or whatever they're called. Mm, not the best shade for me. They're so expensive. Yeah, I'll hold on to it because it's just so expensive. <laughs> Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte in 105. I haven't used it, so I'm going to sell that. Here's a mini Jouer in All Natural. I like that one. Very similar to that one. That has the shimmer. That's the Dior shimmer one. Uh, Ciate in Bittersweet. Is very brown. I remember wearing it and not thinking it looked too weird, so keep it for now. Ugh, the Kylie lip birthday lip liquid lipstick set that I got. This is LA or Law, I don't know. That is a peachy that I cannot wear. This is Commando, let's see. That one looks very similar to that one. Let's see what this last one is. Um, birthday suit. This one I have not even worn or swatched. Ooh, no, that's like a gross nude. Brown. So nope. So I'll get rid of the peachy one and the yellow brown one. So that was all for my nudes. Sorry that some of them weren't really nudes. Some of them are like the mauves and pinks. So I put those back where they belong. Um, ugh, the Huda Beauty ones. Now I can't even remember which ones they were and if I wanted to keep them or not. I'm going to keep this one. It's a mini and I like the shade even though I'm not super huge fan of the formula but I'll keep that one because I don't have too many Anastasias um, throwing out three the Burberry I'm gonna keep it is the only one I have so I'll keep that one and the Smashbox I think is getting too dried out so I think I am gonna toss that one too so getting rid of throwing out four 
And now the Huda ones. I don't think I need all three because I don't think all three were flattering. So let me just swatch them one more time before I make up my mind so I know which ones were which. That one. That one. Wifey is just too cool or toned and pale for me. So I think Wifey I'll get rid of. I'm going to keep Sugar Mama. I kind of like that tone as it dries down. And then this shade, Girlfriend. Ugh. So hard because I know I just got it pretty recently. And I just don't know why. So I think I will get rid of that one then. So I'm throwing out four. And I am going to resell one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three. Twenty-three. So I got rid of twenty-three, and that was all for the nudes. So thanks so much, you guys. And I just have my corals and oranges next, and then brighter colors last. So just two more videos for my liquid lipstick collection. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.